right, welcome back everybody. Welcome to Old Man Gaming if you're new. Uh, if you're a regular subscriber, welcome. And to those just perusing all the internet to see what is out there, welcome to you as well. I am Old Man Gaming and today we are going to do a um, box opening. I just got it in. It's actually one of the first ones that have come on time of a secret layer uh, drop. It is Prime Slime. Here, let me turn off this light, see if we can get some of the glare. There we go. Secret Layer Drop Series Prime Slime. So uh, this one just came out. I got The Walking Dead coming as well. I got, I think, a few others coming. Uh, and I still have to do the ones that I got late. The uh, Thalia's, the uh, Women's Day, and Year of the Rat. We already started on the Thero series, but I'm going to do this one as a special edition out of sequence because I want to. Because I want to see what's in it. I mean, I know what's in it, but I want to actually look at the cards. So, um, if you guys aren't already following me, please hit that subscribe button. The reason you want to hit that subscribe button is because that is the only way you are automatically registered to enter in all my giveaways. And more giveaways are coming. Not just the every 50 subscribers, but I'm going to be doing more giveaways. And more giveaways. Um, I may start giving away stuff I open. Who knows? We can have, my hat's just bugging me, guys. Sorry. Uh, we may just have a lot of giveaways. But while you're down there thinking about hitting that subscribe button, Make sure you are also following me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and of course UpLive, which is a social media app. Uh, one of the funnest, most uh, intuitive out there because it lets you find people in different countries, um, different areas, um, and so many events and stuff that we do there, guys. Um, I have some posts, and I'm going to add more and more as I can in uh, my up live folder make sure you check it out a lot of the different personalities that I follow and like to uh, gift as they call it uh, make sure you jump on board click the link below follow me as Wildman X on up live where I am a verified host and agency co-leader okay so are we ready are we ready for secret there drop series well, if we can get it out of the box. And of course you got the nice little paper wrap to protect it. All right, and as you can see, it says Prime Slime. All right. I got so many more of these to still open that I should get used to opening them by now, but it's still sometimes tricky. All right, the necrotic ooze right on top, guys. So we'll go ahead. We'll we'll take out the. Uh, I don't like trying to pull them out that way. It bends the card too much. Oops, sorry. But we got the foil uh, or stained glass planeswalker there. And then I can't remember how many uh, prime slimes were in here, or how many slimes were in here. <coughs> what is it? Four or five. I think it's five. And I don't know if you guys have heard. Uh, well, obviously you know about the... Uh, what is that? The children's uh, thing for the next Secret Lair drop on November 9th. But uh, there was a leak for uh, Black Friday. Like three of them. Um, three or four of them, I think for secret layers that are going to come out then. And some of them seem cool, some of them don't. Uh, I suggest, highly suggest you look at, uh, there's a lot of creators out there that do have videos for them. Uh, I, I watched Bad Boy Gaming, I'm sure Magic Historian and so many others probably have uh, their leaks out there already, as that is what they do all day long. I wish I could, not there yet guys. That's where I need your help with subscriptions. All right. So first off, we have Necrotic Ooze. <laughs> oh my god, look at that artwork. Um, as long as Necrotic Ooze is on the battlefield, it has all activated abilities of all creatures in all graveyards. 
It looks like current jam, smells like death, and tastes a bit like both. <laughs> oh my. I mean, uh, let's see if, look, look at the, zo the zombie guy over here, right? The dead guy down in the middle, the pink guy. Um, if you look at the ooze, he has all sorts of bits and pieces in him. And then you got, like, it looks like a goblin running away. Oh, there's the arm of another guy that's becoming ooze. I like how they put the devil horns on the necrotic ooze. Um, being that it's almost Halloween, I think that's quite a fitting look. So that's the necrotic ooze, all right? And these are all non-foil. Uh, look at the acidic slime. So um, one of the, uh, I don't know if you also noticed the expansions coming out. One of the expansions coming next fall, or uh, next summer I think it is, that's replacing the core set is Dungeons and Dragons. So uh, this has a very Dungeons and Dragons-esque feel to it. You have your warlock with the uh, cauldron back there. Yeah. You, ha you have, uh, obviously, the Acidic Slime, which has Death Touch 2-2. Uh, when Acidic Slime enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. Um, and the merchant said that their, ex their Newt Extract was cauldron safe. And that's what he put in, and apparently that's what he got out. Was It broke right through the cauldron. You can see the little crack in the cauldron there. And how it destroyed uh, probably the wizard's apprentice there. Uh, come on, focus, focus. There we go. Um, and it's blossoming like a flower. I don't know what that is. I guess the sword line there is the artifact it destroyed. Or it could be the cauldron that it destroyed was the artifact. But again, uh, a very Dr Dungeon and Dragon-esque feel to it. I kind of like it. Next up we have, of course, one of the favorites in the current format, Scavenging Ooze. Right? For one green, one colorless, you get a creature ooze that for one green, exile target card from graveyard. If it was a creature card, put a plus one, plus one counter on Scavenging Ooze and you gain one life. With the flavor text of, some days it just feels like trash, other days it could really go for some people. Um, obviously the dead skeleton in front of it is one of the people it consumed. I don't know if I like its eyes and mouth the way it is right there. It looks like it's consuming... Is that pizza? It is consuming pizza, guys. And there's the pizza delivery boy, which apparently it maybe ate the last pizza delivery boy. And that's why the, uh, one in the background is a little bit, uh, trepidatious. Uh, the rats are kind of staying away, too. Um... <laughs> Uh, there's a, is, is that a, a rat I got hold of up top there in the corner? Or is that another scurrying rat? I don't know. I don't know where that snake comes in, but it's, it looks like it's trying to get away too. Um, again, uh, a very, like, um, cartoonish look to it, but I like it. I think it fits. All right, next up we have... The Mimeoplasm. So the Mimeoplasm was originally uh, released in, I believe, the original Commander deck. Um, and uh, it's a legendary creature, Ooze, that for one blue, one green, one black, and two colorless, as the Mimeoplasm enters the battlefield, you may exile two creature cards from graveyards. If you do, it enters the battlefield as a copy of one of those cards with a number of additional plus one, plus one counters, on it equal to the power of the other card. So that's that's pretty good. Um, I don't think like let's take a quicker I don't I don't know if the artwork quite reflects what the card does. Cause I mean there's something that looks like another one of it up on on the mountain over there. And it looks like one of its hands is like a wolf or something. And then it looks like it has bat wing so maybe it consumed a bat and a wolf I don't know I don't know I don't really I don't really get the artwork on this one I don't know if I enjoy it as much uh, the color scheme is okay you got the purples with the with the turquoise or it might be teal I guess is the color of the guy um, the yellows 
Um, again, I don't know if this one quite reflects what the card is and does. And last but not least, we have the Void Slime. So the Void Slime is two blue, one green for an instant that counter target spell, activated ability, or triggered ability. So basically it's just you're trying to cast something and you get slimed. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, the wizard is getting slimed just out of nowhere. And it, as he was, it looks like he was trying to cast a cyclonic rift. So I think the card accurately di 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 um, displays what the card does, the artwork does. Um, it's cartoonish again, and you got the same multicolors, uh, the teals, the purples. Um, you got the castle in the background. You got a couple moons back there. You got a mountain with a cave in it. Um, but I think overall the card kind of signifies, the artwork signifies what the card does. So once again, guys, that is, I mean, these, these box openings are quick and easy. We discussed the card a little bit. Um, I, I, I do like the artwork on most, and I think it reflects except for the Mimeoplasm again. Like scavenging news, definitely, definitely acidic slime. And you got the same color scheme through all of them. And so once again, those will all be available on my TCG player site. Um, click the link below to get there. Hundreds of thousands of cards available. And our special guest star in the Planeswalker stained glass is none other than doo -doo -doo, another Vraska. Wow, I've got so many Vraska, it's not even funny. At least this one I'll be able to get the, hopefully get the uh, stickiness off. Yeah, that came off pretty easily. So again, the Vraska, you know, I, I, I love all the stained glass art, and I've said this before, all the stained glass art Planeswalkers. Um, Vraska obviously isn't worth that much, but it's one of those that, like, I think if you hold on to long enough, like anything, like, hey, a foil grim monolith that goes for three grand now, um, give it time. If, if magic continues and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon and you have your naysayers, oh, it's the end of paper magic. COVID ended paper magic. No, it will continue. Uh, they, and, and even online is not going to end, uh, the paper magic trend anytime soon because uh, just collectors out there are going to buy stuff regardless and it has to be physical like me I'm a physical collector like I don't download video games I get the actual you know cartridge whatever disc physical copy and usually it's going to be a collector's copy for me so I get the statue and all that and that's what I like so there's hundreds of thousands if not millions of people out there just like me who want that physical contact so don't think paper magic is going anywhere all right guys so once again thank you all for joining um i want to especially thank wizards for getting uh, this to me on in a decent amount of time because it actually isn't available for sale till monday um it is saturday today so uh they actually got it to me ahead of actual release which is awesome um, for all of those that aren't following me, please follow, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's easy. You can enter automatically just by being subscribed to get free stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I want you all to have a wonderful, wonderful day. And as always, take care of yourselves and take care of each other.